Next step is going to be prepping the uh, transmission and then mating the transmission up to the engine. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to start by removing this retaining strap. And this retaining strap here is really just a shipping strap that keeps the torque converter inside the bell housing neatly. So we're going to remove these three bolts. We're going to do it by using a socket on this side and a wrench on the other side to hold. And in this case, just a socket. And then we'll remove the retaining strap and place these fasteners in our scrap bin. And then what we'll do is we will come back to the bell housing and we will slide the pallet that it's on. You'll note that it's sticking out over the end of the pallet so that it can get up close to the engine which is sitting back on the inside of its pallet. And what we'll do is we'll slide this bell housing up and these two fasteners holes will go over and fit in this area over here. And then this one up here will go into here. This one at the top will go into here. You will note as we go around clockwise that this next one on the bell housing does not have a milled hole on the engine block. So this one does not have a hole so it will not be filled with a bolt. And then down here as we go we'll hit another two. And so those will be the ones that we put on and the torque spec of those is 37, 37 foot pounds. And what I'll be doing is I will be using, since we have a lot of thread on the bolts, I will be using an impact gun but only to be able to move once I hand tighten these in, I will use the impact gun to be able to get the threads all the way down in toward where they're close to being torqued, and then I'll use a torque wrench to be able to move the spec. This should be done under the supervision of a builder trainer to make sure that they, one, don't get cross-threaded, and two, don't get over-torqued. Typically, the torque of a fresh battery in this impact gun is only up to 30 foot-pounds, so even if I drove it all the way in, it still should be shy of the 37 foot-pounds that I need to put on these bolts and then we'll have it mated and that will be the end of the step and we'll mark the bolts.